Well, it's 7 a.m. and we're loading up 20 Solaria 325 watt panels. We hope you'll stay and watch us install them. Hey guys, how you doing? So uh, I'm just gonna kind of narrate as we go along in this video a little bit, but uh, just wanted to point out that one of my customers, Neil Cohen, uh, just did a wonderful job with the drone footage on this video. Um, you'll see it pop up here occasionally and that's all Neil, so really appreciate him doing that. So we're doing another tile uh, solar installation here and we're using our M1 sealant so that when the lag bolts go into the uh, beam, then that M1 will be all laced uh, on that uh, lag bolt. Put one more in here. So these get lagged into the roof joist. Twenty panels coming on here, so we're talking about about a thousand pounds uh, coming onto the roof here. So that roof top really has to be strong. So now, so we've got Colin and Keith here. They're basically just outlining the basically like the whole square of where they want to, where they're envisioning the solar panels to be. They're basically just making a big box right now. We're going to try and fit all those panels within that box on the rooftop. The guys doing the electrical on the side of the house never get any of the respect they deserve. <laughs> It's always the guys on the roof get all the accolades. So basically, the whole process here is once we get down to that that uh, roof sheathing, we are just trying to weatherproof that so you know what we lagged into the roof there we're basically just trying to weatherproof around that by using some uh, roofing tar some four inch mesh around it we really make a really strong dam basically for water any water that would be on the the, the mesh there we basically just float right across it what we don't want to do is get to the bolts that we just lagged into the roof I know that sealant is already around it, and we even put a U, like an upside down U, on the flashing before we put it in. So uh, between the paper and the flashing would be sealed off anyways. But uh, weatherproofing is, I mean, we're talking about this stuff being on the roof for 30 years. So I know it seems a little overboard. All the tiles down, all the tile replacements. So with that, we will end up with all these extra uh, tiles here. All those ones down at the end over there, those are all extras that we're going to be able to end up using uh, in the future on a, you know, because sometimes you need a boneyard, you know, to crack a tile on a roof or something. So that's pretty cool. So we will get those. <laughs> Yeah, so just get back to it here. Uh, we're just trying to uh, waterproof around that base, and then a little flashing gets put over it, and then here the tile replacement gets put over that. So any rain that comes onto the rooftop is just gonna, just basically just gonna wick right off the tiles, maybe onto that uh, aluminum uh, tile replacement, and then gravity will pull it on down to the gutter.
Like a glove? <laughs> oh, Colin. That was YouTube worthy. Really like how that tile replacement flashing just literally just takes in place of the old tile yeah, that was there. there uh, I, now the gravel covers it up. Yeah, it was that. It was pretty much that entire spot down there. It was like 10 by 20. And uh, I had lots of toys and goldfish in there. A big old blue container wall. And just sit there. It was wonderful for him. He would watch snakes and stuff like that come into the pond and just go get them. <laughs> All that that you see right there probably took us uh, probably took us about five or six hours just to get all that all the all the base down, all the tile replacement flashings in. Then once the flashings are in, then we can start mounting the rail. But we'll leave it loose here because we still have to level it. Oh, adjust it. Okay, we got all the flashings down. We're starting to install the railing. hooks that are took forever to get in but that is the longest part of the installation is that getting those footings in getting the weatherproof in that roof now everything else that we've weather you know now everything else with the railings and the panels and the inverters and everything uh, now that the roof is weatherproofed I mean the rest of the day is really easy for us just pretty straightforward as far as like you know securing the rails and then uh, one of the things you're going to see here at, from the overhead view is these staggered footings. So you see how they're kind of offset from each other. Basically what we're trying to do is not put a ton of load on any one single beam on the roof. So if we can spread the load out across several beams, then uh, that's the goal for that. And that's why you see those offset like that. Got the micro inverters put on the rails. See our beautiful flashings. Our replacement. Getting some conduit ran. The man himself, Craig Fox. Keith's here putting the uh, wire management together. Getting all those loose wires up onto the rails so nothing's touching the roof. All the inside, wired in together. Beautiful power replacements. So typically we would start on the bottom left, like if we're looking at the array, we would typically start at the bottom left of the array, but that's where our electrical is going, so there would be a lot going on right there. So we decided to wait till the end, maybe just start on the right side, work our way left. 
that way when we got to the last few panels, Thanks, as you'll see here coming up, Aaron and Kyle putting in those last few panels, had, at least they had plenty of room to do it. Got seven in, 13 to go. Close, getting close there. Each one of those panels is about fifty pounds, about forty five to fifty pounds each. So, I mean handle it but uh, they're not typically they're not really lightweight either so <laughs> they're big they're bulky typically takes two guys to kind of move them around uh, gently so so we're gonna finish up with these last few images here guys of the uh, drone footage from my friend uh, Neil Cohen and I appreciate so much him taking the time to come out and do this play around with his drone, get a little footage. So, really good footage, Neil. All right, guys. Well, if there's uh, anybody here in the Sacramento area that is looking for solar, we would love to be the company that gets to come out and do that for you. Know where to call us, right there at the bottom of the screen, 916-877-1577. See you guys on the next video, okay? You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.